So today I'm going to talk to you guys about something fairly new and interesting and exciting which Google has just recently released. We all know how important call, Google call ads, call ads are, but now they've taken that call ads to the next level by giving us the functionality of recording the calls. Now it has not been rolled out across all the countries yet, fairly new and hopefully every account will have this uh, feature but right now and currently it's only in the US so let's jump into our Google Ads uh, support center first to see uh, what this is all about and then I'll go through uh, the setup so what they say is by enabling call recording you can play Call ad, uh, play calls made to your call ads as well as your call and location extensions okay to enable call recording you need to have the following at least you need to have admin access to your Google Ads account and once it's enabled uh, MCC which is the my client center and this is for agencies if you are just running your own account you don't need to worry about the MCC level access and direct users with admin or direct users with standard access will be able to replay the recordings where the call details report. So you just need to have access basically at either standard access or admin access. Uh, call repo uh, reporting enabled um, and it needs to be a US based number at the moment which you are, are running call ads to. So you need to have your domain verified of all the unique domains used in the ads and extensions that you wish to record so if you're running call ads that domain would have been uh, verified if not then the google will not um, approve your ads anyway but what you can also do is you can verify your domain by linking your google search console and google ads account or by adding your unique google ads conversion tracking tag which i would always recommend you to or a remarketing tag to your website now let's go back to this survey which is the Google search console not many people may have heard of it and I also see not many businesses take advantage of it just like all other Google products this is completely free of charge and it's a must have and must use product for your online marketing and uh, reporting because it's going to give you a bird's eye view of the activity which is happening on your um, on your website and where the traffic is coming from and how your website's ranking is in Google search results so obviously we have Google Analytics for that as well but search console gives a completely a different set of data about the Google search uh, that's why it's called Google um, Search Console. It used to be called the Webmasters. What was it? Google Webmasters before. But now it's called uh, Google Search Console. And if you've got conversion tracking set up or your remarketing tag on your website, then you don't need to worry about it. Call ads and extensions whose domain have not been verified in this way will not be available for play, even if the setting has been enabled. So what have they said here? Calls made via the website call conversion tag are not eligible for recording and play at this time. So hopefully this will change. What this means is if someone clicked on your ad and went through to your website and then made the call, um, you should have the website call conversion tag for that. And at the present uh, moment, as of 3rd of August, 2020, um, it's not avail uh, eligible, but hopefully in the f very near future this will be available as well, which will also add another dimension to our call ads and recording. So simple instruction, and in fact it is very simple to use it, it will take 10 seconds. You sign into your account, go to your all campaigns, click on the settings, accounts, call reporting and then you will be able to switch it on I'll, I've got some screenshots in a minute which I will go through with you so once enabled recorded calls are available for 30 days after the date of the call 
I guess they will get deleted after 30 days. Um, the following message will be played to callers on eligible ad formats. Google and its partners may record the call and retain this call for quality and research purposes. So this is something which you may need to think about whether you wish to have this played before the call is recorded. Users with admin access can always toggle the feature on or off. Uh, toggling this feature off will prevent any users of the account from playing any pre-existing campaign. Okay, and let's click on this link which is how to play. Uh, once you've set up your call recording, you can set up replaying your calls. When recorded, recording is enabled, a new column will be available in the call details report that allows you to play the audio. Sign into your account, click on reports. Okay, this is fairly straightforward. And recordings not available for unsupported phone numbers, unverified URL, or unsupported call source, which is um, the usual in the basics. Okay, so let's go on to my slides. So when you go into your account and you go to all campaigns, you go down to your account settings in the middle column. And then you you will see this bit over here. They've got all recordings for 30 days. You click it on. And that is it pretty much. Um, obviously, you will have your call ads um, uh, conversion tracking already set up. So I don't have to go through that. But that's pretty much it. And then all you do is to hear your recording, you go to reports and then reports again, go down to extensions and then you go to call details. Once you go to call details, you will see this. Uh, table and you'll see a recording column and I believe this is where the play button will be to play back your uh, recordings on here so I've just set this up uh, on one of my accounts today to, and see what happens I guess it will start to populate the recordings as the calls start to, to come in I get a lot of um, emails about the difference between call from ads and calls from websites. So let's hop into our Google Ads account and then you go into your tools and settings and conversions. There's already some, this is my test account, so we've got some conversion, call conversions set up already. We ignore that. So go on to the plus button. And here's where the three options are available. The easiest one is this one, calls from ads using call extensions or call only ads. So to set this up, you don't need to do anything other than to set this up. So if I put in calls from ads, and what I tend to do is to put in the phone number over here. So I know this is my conversion tracking. But for this one, I'll just put in uh, August so we can see and don't get, don't get confused with the other um, conversions. Then we have the value. You must have a value for each a call as to how valuable it is. I've gone through uh, how to set this up in other videos as well in this playlist. But you must need to know, uh, you must know how much is the value. I'm going to say 100 for now and call length depends on what you want to consider consider a call as a conversion so it could be 20 seconds 30 60 120 it really depends on your business but if you are a cap company um, your calls will be generally less than 30 seconds because you know somebody will call you and say oh can you you know send a cap to my home or office and then they'll say yeah 15 minutes what's the address and the postcode job done so if you make that call length too high then you will not um, track any conversions so you just want to keep it as a meaningful conversation happen you don't want to keep it as five seconds because sometimes the someone calls you by mistake and you answer the call as the taxi call company or whichever business you're 
and then they're gonna hang up the phone thinking that they called the wrong company so I would never put in a five second as a call length conversion then you have the click through windows um, 60 and up to 90 days you can do that include always include these in the call, conversion column attribution again this depends on the type of business if it's an emergency type business kind of business like a plumber locksmith dentist where somebody is a, in a real um, need of someone and they're just going to make a call or two to book or someone or, or go and see someone like a doctor then you can go on the first click i tend to go but if it's the sales cycle is a lot longer where you might have a, a free consultation and then the customer is going to decide after multiple touch points and coming to your websites uh, whether you are the company uh, for them then you we would normally use a time decay but the attribution model is completely uh, different for types of business as to how you analyze your data and how you track your conversions and then when you set this up now you don't get any tag unlike other conversions when you set up you will get a little piece of tag and i'll show you in the next one we get a tag which we need to put up on the website or the thank you page or whatever you want to put it over here the job is done because this is going to use the call extensions you need to set up the call extensions with that number and no other conversion tracking is required so you can see my call from ads 3rd of august has been set up obviously this is just been set up and this is a test account so there's no recent conversions the other one which is call from calls to a phone number on your website so what what uh, when this happens is someone comes to you goes on to google um, searches for something you see that your ad they click on the ad and not the call extension they come through to your website and this is where google will replace your phone number on your website with the google forwarding number and if they either click on it or dial through their for office phone home phone or a smartphone google will know that if this has come through an ad and that's how it's going to track so you put the name your value the same thing again and calls from website and then you put the phone number in again i'm just putting in the today's date for and when you click and continue now you have this tag which you need to set up you either can install your tag and it's going to give you this global site tag installed on all your html or all your website pages basically be it wordpress html joomla whichever ones you are working uh, using copy this piece of uh, snippet and put it through all of them you've got three options over here global site tag is already installed on all pages but comes from another google product or global site tag on all pages were installed already when you created another conversion tracking so choose which one is applicable to you or you can email this tag to either yourself or to your um, webmaster and he or she can We'll put it up the easiest and the best way is this google tag manager is i would always recommend to put up any kind of tags and it keeps everything simplified and in one place all you do is you take a, this conversion id and the conversion label and put it in there in google tags uh, tag manager you have the template already set up for uh, all conversions from from website and that's all you need to do so it literally takes a matter of seconds to set this up and this is how you uh, set these two uh, conversion actions for your for your call ads 